For the last couple of months, you've been nominating local people who have inspired you for the Spirit of Northern Ireland Awards. Yes, these uplifting stories are sure to touch all of our hearts, and here are just two of them. I'm 19 years old and I've suffered from... Well, Sharon was born with cystic fibrosis, spent the whole of her first year in hospital, and it really was... prognosis was not good for her, but she was a fighter from the word go. Charlene Barr from Dollingstown lost her fight against cystic fibrosis last November, but it was her dream to make a difference for other children. By then, she had raised thousands of pounds to build a school in Uganda. Charlene said she was going to raise £70,000 in a year. We said, Charlene, you'll never do that. By the time she died, she'd raised £120,000. And it's still increasing, and it's, it's over £180,000. There's hopes and plans for so many other things to try and help that local community to develop. And, you know, Charlene's made that happen. It's incredible. And Armagh Royal School, where Charlene was a pupil, continues to fundraise for her project. She didn't get to finish her schooling and it really made her value her schooling and whenever we explained that to our pupils uh, they were really open to the idea of really helping others in their schools and to be honest it was the idea of we shouldn't be sad that we knew Charlene but really we should be happy and our tagline for the assembly was uh, don't cry because it's over, smile because it's happened. She said to us on the Sunday before she died and um, I haven't done anything with my life, what have I done? And we said, what? But she just didn't see it and I think that's even the bigger victory of it all. You know, that she was just so humble, she didn't see that she was reaching out to others and encouraging others to come on board and make a difference in other people's lives.